we were pretty close to another sweep yesterday. Uh, the Oklahoma City Thunder could not cover 10 and a half points. <clears throat> uh, Dallas um, did compete, played very hard. Uh, Kyrie went off, uh, made sure they stayed in the game. Uh, there was a run at, in the fourth quarter by the Thunder. Uh, the last under a minute left, uh, Jalen Williams pushed Tim Hardaway and had an offensive foul that gave them two more points. Now, how close this was is we're at 126 to 117. It's nine points. If Jalen would have just caught it and got the rebound, held it, he might have got fouled, sent to the line because everybody's in a bonus at this point. And we got to 128 to 117 when the clock ran out because they would have only had time to hoist one from beyond the uh, half court line to win. So if that didn't go in, we would have been right at 11. That's how close it was. So uh, that happens two and one, uh, call it a bad beat, but, uh, you know, still profitable day. So that's all we're looking for. Uh, but we will send Jalen Williams a uh, strongly worded letter, making sure that he doesn't do that again. Uh, and we are 153 and 20, 153 and 123 in the NBA. Uh, not too bad. Uh, we are getting better. Uh, last seven days, 12 and six, fixing that record. Uh, 41, 39 and one in the last 30 days. So uh, turning around, uh, we have six games to talk about today. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. What's up, everybody? Crash here. Welcome back to Crash Against the Spread, where we talk about sports from a betting perspective. Uh, we have six total games today. Uh, I don't have bets and everything. I'm only going to bet two games, um, but we will go over a little bit about each one. Uh, the Suns and the Hornets are the first game up. Suns are on a back-to-back. They lost yesterday. Um, we are on the Suns today. And be over, but this is not one of the games we're going to bet. Um, Suns are coming off that loss yesterday. Uh, should be motivated to beat these Hornets. Um, Hornets are trending towards the over. And um, if we were going to bet this game, that's the side that we would be. This number opened up at 219. It's been bet down. I thought 219 was a little low, so... Uh, that'll be the pick for that one. That one's on the NBA TV. Uh, Heat and the Pistons. Uh, Heat are eight point favorites. Bet up from five and a half last night. Total is at 214, 215, depending on where you can get it. Uh, Heat have won both meetings already. Uh, the first one was only by one point, 102, 103. And the second was by eight points, 110 to 118, both in Miami. Uh, The next two games will be in Detroit. They're actually going to be two days apart, today and uh, Sunday. Today, though, Cunningham is on the injury report with knee management, and it's questionable to play tonight. If he doesn't play, I love the heat and I love the under. Uh, If he doesn't play, I do expect this number to go up to 9 or 10. Um, I think with him being on the report is what made it get bet up from five, but I like the under in this game, especially with uh, uh, no Kate Cunningham. Um, I don't see where all the points are going to come from for the Pistons, and the Heat need a good defensive game. Um, Let's look at their last game. I'm escaping on who they played right now. 
Miami's last game was against Denver. They lost by 12, and they were six-and-a-half-point uh, favorites at oh, uh, close, uh, open at three. So lost to the uh, Wizards, lost to the Thunder, lost to the Mavericks. They're on a four-game uh, losing streak here. So this is the perfect get-right spot for them. Uh, they will definitely win. Will they cover? We're not sure, but they need to play defense to uh, win this game, so we're on the under. <clears throat> Magic and the Raptors. Uh, Raptors are eight-and-a-half-point home underdogs. Uh, they are also on a five-game losing streak. Uh, their injury report is kind of crazy looking also. DJ Carton is out for Friday's game with an ankle injury. R.J. Barrett is out for personal reasons. Gary Trent Jr. is questionable. Chris Boucher is out uh, with a MCL tear. Jakob Hurdle is out. He just underwent surgery to repair a torn ligament in his pinky. And Scotty Barnes is out. Uh, he just had surgery to repair a fracture in the third metal carpal bone. So... They are pretty depleted. Um, not sure who's playing in this game. All right, so we got Emmanuel Quickly, Bruce Brown, Kelly Olenek, Jordan Navarra, and if Gary Trent Jr. does not go, he, uh, Grady Dick. So uh, I am still on the Magic. Um that's not as bad of a roster as I assumed it'd be, but there's no depth behind it. So um, that's my only concern is you're going to need to play four quarters against this Magic team. Um, I also have the under in uh, that game, 217, and I would still lean towards the Magic, one of the best cover teams in the NBA. They're just on the road in Toronto where Toronto plays their best ball. So. Under 217 for that one. Uh, Clippers Pelicans. Clippers on the back to back. Uh, Pelicans seven point favorites at home. Uh, they've played three times already this season. This is the last meeting. Uh, LA won one of them. Uh, New Orleans won the other two. So LA has revenge. They're just on the back to back. And um, I don't know if they can get this one. So. I'm not going to bet it. I'm going to stay off. Um, I would want to lean their way with the seven-point spread, but I don't think I'll get there. Uh, Nugget Spurs. Spurs, ten-and-a-half-point underdogs at home. Nuggets should win this game. Uh, but they're not as good on the road, and it's a ten-point spread. Spurs have been trying to get uh, Wimbenyama, the rookie of the year, so I uh, keep feeding him the ball, and he's too tall to stop. So I don't want to bet it. Uh, they did win the first meeting, 132-120, uh, uh, early in the season. They played today and two more times uh, in April. So a couple more games coming up for those two teams. Hawks and Jazz, no real thoughts on it. Um, Hawks are 5-5 five and five against the spread last 10. Jazz are 4-6 and six against the spread last 10. They've only played one game so far this season, back in February, where the Hawks won. But the Hawks have a another mile-long injury report. Let me just get to it real quick. I will go over it. The um, <clears throat> the Hawks definitely have Trey Young out. I think he had surgery on his hand but there was a ton of people on that list so the Hawks the Hawks have uh, Bogdan has an illness in his day to day yeah, everybody else in the list is out so Jalen Johnson ankle Sadiq Bey, uh, torn ACL. Seth Lundy, back pain, didn't play in Friday's G League game. Uh, Okongwu, 
toe injury. He shed the walking boot. He'll be reevaluated in seven to ten days. Kobe Bufkin, toe injury. Walk around with a boot for the next ten days, and Trey Young out with a torn radial collateral ligament and the fifth finger on his left hand. Specific. So, not looking to the Hawks for a little bit unless they're playing the Hornets or the Wizards or somebody. The Jazz are close to that, but I'm not betting this game at all. So, uh, my actual official picks are going to be two unders in the Heat game and the Magic game because we like those. Uh, But that's going to be the picks. Uh, Lock those in. Let's get this money, and we'll be back tomorrow for some more NBA action. I uh, wish I had some college basketball picks for you guys, but uh, we have uh, all this data in the NBA we're still rolling with, so we'll be on college next year. See you then. Gentlemen, 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 it's Crash. Tick-tick-tock, tick-tick-tock, stay at the sight of cops. You can keep the corners, me and Dish creating bigger blocks. Fast lips, slim and tough. Remember, wanna make them stop. Y'all sell CDs, Logic, E&T, and seven stops. But now we in the game, call it virtual reality. But I'm really here, so there's a reason to be scared of me. None of them compared to we. I'm